Hi guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube. We're well into this afternoon now. Um, this morning I took Max out for a walk and there was a gentleman with no teeth meeting a lady with a band around her head outside the co-op. He had a white dog. And then I walked further on. There was a man in a pale blue, blue t-shirt with a grey cap like I'd been wearing. A grey cap. Um, my, my son gave this to me. My son gave me this cap. Because my old cap is all battered. So my son gave me one of his caps to wear because I suffer from trigeminal neuralgia, which is a condition where your face and your jaw hurt, and it's called the suicide disease because it, it, sometimes it's so unbearable, you're screaming and banging the walls and crying your eyes out in pain. Well, when I first had it in 2015, I was screaming and crying. 2018, um, I had to call an ambulance, I was so in so much pain, just to try and get some pain relief. Um, when I realised that no one was going to actually really help me, um, I decided to take a new approach to this agonising pain. I suffer every day, I've still got it right now, this side of my face. With all the builder's noise going on, I've still got it. Right, so I, I decided to take a new approach, and that is to carry on with the pain. Go outside, enjoy things, and just put up with this pain. And I do. There are times when I'm off camera, when when I am in agony, and I I'm in the shower trying to warm my face. I've got I'm lying down with a flannel over my head. Right. Just because somebody appears to be okay, it doesn't mean they are. I never judge a book by a cover. Because, you know, a battered old book at the front could be a quite interesting read inside. Right, where was I? So, yeah, there was an old man in a pale blue top with a grey hat on. Carried on walking. I'd already been called a man by somebody. A man. And I'm obviously not a man. As I said before, there's no way that I'm a bloke. So carry on, carrying on. Walked around the fields with Max. Came back, more old men with grey hats on. As I said, my son gave me this. More grey hats. One of the builders was walking down the road with curly hair like mine. So Ring glasses, walking like this. I'm not a bloke, I'm a woman, I'll say. The lift is still broken, so I'm walking up and down the stairs. I've just had a word with my mum, Jennifer. She's called me. I've told my mum that the lift isn't working, and she said we're going to have to do something about this. And we're both going to see if we can move somewhere else together. Not here, not Dowell Gardens, but somewhere else to see if we can move in together. Because no one's helping me and no one's helping my mum. Right. She's stuck by herself, all disabled. I'm stuck by myself and no one's helping me. So she said it might be an idea if we can get hold of somebody to see if we can move somewhere together where we can look after each other. And that's what she's just rung me. She also said she's getting post for Derek and he's been dead nearly nine months now. Sun Life Insurance. I saw my dad's dilapidated car yesterday. It's full of shit. Dogs have pissed on it. There's old leaves on it. There's dust. She's going to fucking fall apart. It needs to go. Derek is dead. He's been dead since August the 25th, 2021. And no one's removing that 
car that's slowly disintegrating bit by bit. No one's driving it, he's dead. My mum can't drive, I can't drive. It needs to be scrapped and taken away before it becomes a health hazard. So I've just been stuck indoors all day because I want to. The list is bloody broken. I am not going shopping, carrying bags up the stairs. I can't do it. I remember at Fairfield Court when a certain person called Manaya and a few other kids at Fairfield Court used to piss in the lift and break it and I would have to hold a pram under one arm, four shopping bags and a baby and carry it up three or four flights of stairs because if you left your shopping at the bottom of the stairs somebody would pinch it or kick it or stand on it. That place was horrible. And I don't want this place to turn into what that was like, to be honest. But this is a flipping joke. And this is important. It should be done straight away. It's stuck on the third floor. I live on the first floor, fortunately. So those people that live on the ground floor, they're lucky, aren't they? I don't live in a disabled flat. I wish I did, but I don't. So I've just spoken to my mum. Right. It's been quiet here, basically. Apart from dogs barking, people dressing up like me, old men with no teeth and caps on, and trying to make me go outside. Well, mend the bloody lift then. Mend the lift. Get someone to fix the lift. <laughs> and do you think an old man could walk miles into town with false teeth and a walking stick? I don't bloody think so anyway. If that's what you think I am, an old man with a bloody walking stick and no teeth. Do you know, I got a sense of picture that twenty minutes ago of a naked man that looked like Ryland Clark. Black hair, shiny white teeth, butt naked, all his bits hanging out. It looked like Ryland Clark. It actually did. Then I was talking to this Neville, that's a nice name, isn't it? Neville, on Facebook dating, and it turns out he's in not even in Great Britain. He's in America. He's, not, he's on a dating site on Facebook and he isn't even in my country. And all these people telling me they're going to meet me, they're going to go for a drink, they aren't even living in Great Britain. I mean, wow, how ridiculous. They're not even in this country. Laughing, did a, oh, it's a, oh, I'm yeah, over in the UK, ha, ha, ha. Caught you out, didn't I? They pretend they're in Great Britain and he, this guy's turned out to be from America. Got caught right out. Bloody catfish. All on Facebook. Catfish. So I'm indoors all day. I've got my food. I'm not being taken the fucking piss out of in the co-op. I, 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 I haven't got time for that. Last time I... I answered messages from Facebook dating, I went into the co-op and then, you know, I get ignored by everybody. Urgh. Well, fucking leave me alone then. Why do you keep annoying me? If I'm so urgh and disgusting, just leave me alone. I'm quite happy sat on the sofa watching bollocks on the telly, repeats and rubbish. Go on, get on with yourselves. I mean, the bullies, I mean. It's like a set of bloody little Britain round there. You should come and watch an episode of it. I look out my window every day and I think, my God, what the fuck is that? See you later. <laughs>